Zhiyun? Am I saying am I saying that right? So the pronunciation is Zhiyun. This is basically impossible to pronounce. It's impossible to pronounce. Zhiyun. That's Jason Bourne. Here we go again. This is the new Molish G300 from Zhiyun Tech. Zhiyun was kind enough to send this light over to me. However, they didn't ask me to make this video and all the thoughts and opinions are mine. But I gotta say, I'm gonna show you some features from the G300 that are going to surprise you. All right, let's cut to the chase. 500 watts from this tiny light. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's actually not clickbait. This new light from Zhiyun really outputs 500 watts in its max mode. But before we turn it on, I want to shed some light on who I am. Do you get it? My name is Patrick. I'm a husband, a dad, a human, a creator, and a worship pastor in New York City. And I am so glad you're here. When you first open the G300 for the first time, you're gonna find a few accessories in the box, but we aren't here for those anyway. The main character here is this tiny yet powerful light. For the power it offers, it shouldn't be this small. And one thing I love about the G300 is its separate control box. Buttons on Zhiyun stuff in the past have bothered me, but after playing around with these tactile controls for quick adjustments, I feel confident that they are going to last forever. And the fact that this control box is separate separated from the light itself really, really helps out. I could have it sitting here on my desk with the light right up here like it is now, or I could have it over there, or I could have it hanging on the C-stand that I'm moving the light around with. Did you see the athletic skills? Did you see? Regardless, I don't have to pull the light itself down to change its settings. And on some of my other GVN lights, I do have to do that. Separate control box, huge win for me. How's bragging camp going? But listen, hey, if buttons aren't your thing, you want to check out the G300 app experience. And we're going to get to that a little bit later. Now, like I said, the G300 may be compact, but don't let that fool you. It packs a serious punch, but the lightweight design, it has to be mentioned because it's it's next level. Being that lightweight and having the separate control box are game changers for me. So let me show you why. Can we just kind of talk through my setup for just a minute. For most of my video shoots, I am sitting right here at this desk. However, YouTube isn't my full-time job yet. I mean, that's actually where you come in. If you could just take the next couple seconds to subscribe to my channel, if you have not already, and don't forget to check the description for any links you might need. Thank you so much. Thank you. I used to have larger lights like the G300 on rolling C-stands. I believe I mentioned that earlier, but the G300 quickly became my main light. So I decided to give it more of a permanent home. I took a super clamp and I mounted it tightly to the beams we have in the open ceiling of my office. I added an additional clamp with a ball head for small adjustments so I can move the light where I wanted. And I attached the light using some spigots to that ball head clamp, which was attached to the super clamp. And with its Bowens mount compatibility, you can easily swap out modifiers to suit your lighting needs on the G300. So finally, I put on this huge newer soft box on it, and it is incredible. Links to all these accessories are, of course, down in the description. For those of you that don't have a permanent location to shoot at, the compact nature of the light allows it to travel really easily. So there's no worries there. For me, all I have to do now is sit down, open the ZY Vega app, power on the light and adjust my settings as I see fit. But can we talk about that app for just a second though? Again, with just two knobs on the light itself, you can dial it in perfectly using that separate box that controls the light. But I would highly suggest downloading the app that works alongside Zhiyun Tech lights. Yes, the G300 is fully controllable via your phone. And it's no secret, I've mentioned this in other videos, that I have a terrible track record with getting cool gear to connect to the apps that are supposed to work with them. And I wish I could say that the G300 changed that for me. It did not. So here is your guide. Pay attention for connecting the G300 to the app that fully controls this. I'm gonna rewind a few days to when I filmed the app setup for another light made by Zhiyun, the X60, which I also love. And you can find that full video down in the description. It's the same process, whether you're setting up the X60 or the G300 to work with the app. And I wanted to bring this up because having all of these lights accessible in one app is amazing, but do not skip this part. I could not find one video that correctly explained this setup to me. And maybe that's my fault. Am I, am I the problem? You're a problem. So the first thing you're going to do is download the ZY Vega app. Does it have X60 or Zhiyun in the name? No. 
Easy to find. Not. No, it is not easy to find. Anyway, now you're gonna open that app and see a default kind of example group of lights there, which is going to get confusing. So you're gonna wanna create a new group and, and delete that old one. Patrick, why would I be creating a group? It's just one light. I know, why? Why? Anyway, now the app should see your X60 after all of that and allow you to add it to your list of devices, even if it's the only one in that list or group. And from here, you can change almost every setting on the light. Now, since we have the app open, you can see right beside the G300, it says Max. And that's not just a label, that's an actual button. We've briefly mentioned it, but there's a Max mode on the light that bumps the G300 to 500 watts if that's something you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Max. Whoa, whoa. So once you have the app set up, you can change almost every setting on the G300, and it's much more understandable and easier to move through than using the buttons on the light itself. Now, that's just my opinion, but I need something really easy to use because I'm not great at lighting, yet I film a ton of YouTube videos. However, I have one gripe here. The effects that you can create on the G300, as well as the X60, which I have right behind me, cannot be accessed through the app. And it would have been great to have those available in the app to trigger at any time. With that being said, you can access those fun effects on the light itself, but I wish they were in the app. Zhiyun, are you listening? I mean, come on, let's make this happen. Let's get nerdy for just a second. The G300 boasts a peak illuminance of 15,500 lux at 300 watts and a staggering 20,300 lux at 500 watts. Compare that to other lights and you'll see why this upgrade is a no-brainer. It's brighter, it's more portable, and costs less than the competition. But it's not just about raw power. Zhu Yun has thoughtfully upgraded the G300 with new features like an aviation interface for the AC port and a beefed up light stand handle. It's the little details that make all the difference. I also like how long the IEC or power cable is for the light. They really have creators in mind here. I have to point out though that I wish the IEC power cable locked into the G300 control box the way the light power locks in. It's, it's something small to manage, but it's something worth pointing out and looking forward to in the future. If they could do it for the light, can't they do it for the control box? I'm just saying it would be nice. Still, I can see the research and development at play here. Most companies have poured every resource solely into the light and its tech, but having strong accessories and infrastructure for the light to work with is super important. Now, speaking of power, right beside the power port is a USB-C port on the box, but don't get excited. This is just a port for upgrades that need a computer connection in the future. Okay, it's time to put this light to the test. Right now, I'm sitting at right around 25% power, and that's where I've been almost this entire video, except for that little preview where I hit the max button earlier. But let's see how this stands up against other lights I've used. Obviously, this look right now, I think looks great, and it's more powerful than I need to be, but we're here to push this thing to its limits, right? So I'm at 20 25%. Let's go ahead and pop up to 50. Now the color temperature is really bright here. I might want to warm that up. I should say really cold here, right? Or I could make it just ooh, like the Arctic, but let's go ahead and see full power, not max power, just full 100% power. Now, obviously this, this is much brighter than I need it to be, but to see that it has that ability, if I'm shooting somewhere like in a larger space where I need to put the light farther away, I love that that functionality is available to me. Now with the light at 100% power, you will begin to notice some fan noise. That external box has a big old fan in it inside of it to keep it cool. And you're gonna notice it, especially if you're in max mode. But overall, I'd expect this fan to be louder since it comes in such a small form factor, but it is relatively quiet. It's sitting right up there. I haven't heard it this entire video, which is a huge win. But how much does it cost? The Molus G300 is a pro level light that punches way above its weight class and it comes in at $599. And in my opinion, that price makes sense. It's powerful, it's portable, it's cost effective. But remember, that's not the only thing you need to make great looking videos. You should watch this video before you go. You're gonna like it.